Hello guys, today we are going to be unboxing Amazon Basics 128GB SSD. I bought this in the Great Indian Festival sale and it costed me around 650 rupees and it is for that price I think this is a super steal. The box actually looks okay-ish. I think it's actually torn. I haven't touched the box, it just came and I'm opening this box for the very first time and the, the box condition is actually not that good if I could just touch tap it you can see clearly so yeah this box is a little bit scruffed position but yeah no matter the seal is still intact as I can see the seal is still pretty good okay so we are gonna be testing these features the pieces on this box so it says SATA 3 it's pretty believable management of course I, I highly doubt the speeds 550 MB read 550 MB read and 450 write speeds let's test it out 3d9 technology of course it is 3d9 smart basically all the SSDs actually use this smart technology so yeah low consumption of course so let's open this and see if we actually get the product and yeah let me just Two hundred IQ move. So yeah, yeah. So here we have the disc, and it actually seems pretty decent. This is plastic, but kind of good plastic, and it almost weighs nothing, as all SSDs do. It actually weighs almost nothing. It just feels like very empty, just this plastic shell. And now we'll put this in the PC and actually test this, the right read and write speeds. So yeah, let's go. So hey guys, uh, this is the hard disk. Um, this was the hard disk actually. I have took it out. This There was a 2 terabyte hard disk which I have installed inside my computer. And yeah, if you want to see the this video of how I took out this hard disk from the enclosure, you can click in the cards or you can click check out the description I'll leave a link to the video but for now let's install the Amazon basics drive with this one oh, this is the controller that which actually was here as you can see this is the controller I'll be only installing controller so let's do that so guys here's the SSD the Amazon SSD we just checked this out and now I'll be installing the controller there's a Seagate controller to on this one let's see how it goes yep installed perfectly now let's plug this into my computer and I have this 3.0 USB 3.0 cable let's see if it works in wait a minute please okay i've been plugging it inside the wrong so yeah let's plug this into my pc and i'll meet you in meet you f from inside my pc okay guys there's a a tiny test that i wanted to do it's still connected to the usb 3.0 interface and this file is on 9 gb on my wd hard disk this is the hard disk file it's on a hard disk sata drive and it's around 9.80 GB so we will be copying this into my Amazon hard disk yeah this is the Amazon SSD that I just initialized and yeah let's copy it and see the speeds for it and actually test out in real time the speeds are actually very good like I am very surprised to be honest the speeds are going around 100 and 120 MB per second and as you can see it's it's still connected to USB 3.0 speeds and I'll also be testing it in SATA speeds because uh, I think this is very value for money I paid around only 650 and I'm getting my money's worth and yeah I'm testing it on my phone because I just didn't want OBS hogging up the CPU usage which will be an unfair comparison that's why I'm actually using my phone so yeah 
I mean, let's test out the time of what I started. So now 12.40 and it's actually showing, uh, it was around a minute or so. So yeah, let's see what time it actually does. Still 12.40. So yeah, now it's 12.41 and yeah, I'm, I'm very surprised. Um, let let it finish once uh, so yeah now I'll be deleting this and sorry 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 guys uh, I'll be deleting this file and I'll be connecting connecting this same drive this Amazon SSD in SATA mode and actually test out the read write speeds so now we'll be copying this file it's around 9 GB the same same test with and yeah so it's actually a tiny bit speed no not even tiny oh surprising results actually so let's test out the time now it's 1250 now what what happened it's actually stuck for some reason I don't know why for the USB speeds it did not get stuck or anything I don't know why it actually stuck um, yeah so speeds are a little bit higher like around 10 mbps higher and even the time is also showing pretty less so yeah SATA speeds of course is a higher but not really noticeably good enough not good so yeah if you want to use this as an enclosure in inside an enclosure it's also a pretty good deal and I think the same time is applicable USB and the SATA speeds are pretty much the same speeds very thumbs up like I'm very impressed with this SSD so let's this test continue to test out the time it's 1251 now and it's almost completed the speed the max speed that I have seen is 128 MB per second it's 1252 now and the test is done and the time is 12.52 so we'll give it 12.51 because it actually got stuck for some reason so yeah 